Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about MythWeb, what it is and uh, what you can do with it. It's a really powerful tool, and I think it'll help a lot of people out there. So, MythWeb is a web-based interface that lets you control all your TV recordings. Uh, you can schedule recordings, you can view them. At least I think you can. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. You can you know, see what's going on. It's it's just a nicely laid out version of Myth TV. And you can access it anywhere on the network connected to the core. And I, uh, I don't know how to do this, but I've heard that you can also set it to access it anywhere on the internet. So, very powerful tool. And so the way you get to it is basically you need to get to a web browser. So go ahead and push the menu button. Come over here to advanced and go to computing. Just pick any one of these things, it doesn't matter, I'll go to CNN. And, and basically, on another computer, you'd just be going to a web browser. Okay, now there's more than one way to get to this, to MythWeb, but the way I'm going to show you will work on any computer on the network. So what you type in in the address bar is DCE, that's Delta Charlie Epsilon, router slash mythweb and this is the mythweb home page it's hosted on your computer so it's going to be pretty quick and your main options are up here on the top listings is the first option listings brings up the TV guide and it's going to look like it did in myth TV but a little different than Linux MCE's interface channels on the left time and here are the shows now each show is has a link when you hover over it and so if you want to record a show you just click on it let's say I want to record home improvement just click on it it brings me to a, a page describing the show you know telling me the description the channel all that stuff over here is where the options are for recording and so you've got the standard, you know, record anytime, any channel, record anytime, just on this channel, stuff like that, and lots of different options. And here at the bottom, you can add a thumbnail to the video, and so, or actually you're adding it to the show, not just this video. And so if you have a uh, like a logo of the show, like the Home Improvement logo on your computer, you can just push Browse, go find it, and tell it. And then when you record one of those shows it will show the thumbnail on the video cube instead of just a blank picture with the words home improvement so that's really useful to just quickly see oh this is a home improvement show I don't have to worry about reading and I can just recognize it and you can also use a website address instead you know if you got a the link to a picture you can just do that but that might be a little risky because websites you know are constantly changing some people might change where a picture is saved so but yeah, you can you can do either or. All right, the next thing up here, you can do searches. Searches lets you search <laughs> search. So you can search by different categories. Like up here, you can search by title, movies. You can search by high definition shows, stuff like that. And I'm gonna click on titles. And up here is where you enter in your keyword. So let's say that I want to, I want to watch, I don't know, The Simpsons. That's what I just had. I erased it, but so I type that in, Simpsons. It's gonna say, are you sure? But yeah, go ahead. And so now these are all the upcoming episodes of The Simpsons, and it's all nicely laid out, easy to read. And I apologize if the camera's going in and out of focus. The autofocus is crazy, but. And then once again, if I want to record it, I just click on the show, and I'm brought to the same place that I recognize. Um, so it's just another way to add shows. And you can do this on another computer, too. So, you know, if you're upstairs and you think, oh, I'd like to record this TV show, you can just get on your web browser and set it here. You don't have to go downstairs or, you know, you don't have to get on the, the core itself or a media director. And so that's searches. And then recording schedules this doesn't show the specific episodes it just shows the broad recording priorities so that has a list of every show that I've told it to record 
and you know it's saying Seinfeld record anytime any channel and it's just that's it it doesn't show any episodes so this is just another nice little laid out uh, menu that helps you see what's going to go on on the recording because sometimes Linux MCE can be a little daunting there's a nicely laid out thing and you can click on each one and you're brought to the broad um, broad entry for the show so the Simpsons this isn't a specific episode this is the Simpsons in general and you can change the, the settings for that alright the next one is upcoming recordings and that's exactly what it sounds like it's gonna show you the recordings that are scheduled to go and once again just a nice easy way to see it it's a little different than the Myth TV and the Linux MCE interface and it's nicely laid out you can see what's going on and you can change the options here as well same way click on the links or you've got the option over here you know don't record never record stuff like that alright and the next one is recorded programs now my situation is a little unique because I don't have the router function set up on Linux MCE and I know it's supposed you know it's ideal to leave it on but for reasons that are hard to explain I had to turn it off and so I the idea is that here you'd be able to just click on these pictures and um, watch the video and I can't verify that this works because the server is not running on my computer so I believe that's what's supposed to happen but I don't know for sure but that seems like this is what this area is supposed to do is you can just click on the picture maybe download them stream them whatever and uh, maybe someone else can help me here maybe check the wiki and then the final option at the top is the backend status and that is exactly what it sounds like too it just tells you what myth tv is doing what it's going to do nicely laid out this is just so you can check it when you're in the other room on a computer you can just you know jump on here and see what's coming up maybe see that one of your favorite shows is coming on and you want to watch it and so that is myth web guys it's a very useful tool it can be accessed anywhere on the network that is attached to the core so I hope that helps and I mean I know this is not a exhaustive walkthrough but this is helpful I think it was helpful to me when I discovered this it's a pretty powerful tool so Stay tuned.